Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be about the best four Bellasongs I have found on AliExpress that I own and have been using for quite a while before even starting this endeavor on YouTube. I'm going to talk about why I like them and why you should get them. Today I found a very interesting spot to record the video and it's a abandoned airport like the landing strip. Here's a picture, you can see what it's like. And I will be walking to there from the parking lot I am now sitting at. I have brought my gear, all, all the things I need, tripod, so I'm ready. We just gotta go there. So yeah, let's get this uh, show on the road. We're back at the airfield, and we're gonna be looking at four AliExpress knives that I recommend. These are knives that I have owned for over a year each. It's amazing quality for what you have to pay for. This one is 46 euro on AliExpress shipped to my country, which is Denmark. And it's absolutely insane how cheap it is for what quality you get for it. 46 bucks and you get a flipper that is up there with flipping as good as some of the best like the Krakerakin. At some point, I liked this knife more than my Krakerakin. I have modded it to my preferences. I have sharpened it down, not to actually cut, but to indicate. You can see, just did a little line, but it didn't actually cut. This felt or cloth, whatever you want to call it on the side, uh, is from a squeegee that I use at my work. I can show you. It's kind of like this. This one is blue. You can get this on rolls or for made for the squeegee itself. You can see, uh, I can show you a picture, the one that's made for the squeegee itself, but you can also get it on roll. Uh, here's a red roll and you can just put that on, cut it out and put it on. I, the reason why I put this on is because it gives better grip. And then I wrapped it in this foil on the other handle to know what handle is what and also to be able to feel what handle is what. There is bite indicator um, which is I've grinded it down right here and you'll feel that if you uh, do that the wrong way it really grabs on and everything is just perfect with this. Can you not? I'm trying to record one of the best I own for only 46 bucks. And you can throw this on the ground without caring. And it still flips like nothing happened. Next knife. We have the BRS Replicant Clone, also from AliExpress. All the links will be in the description below of where you could get these. I don't know if the links will still work for some of the knives, because it's uh, different retailers who pop up and go away sometimes, it seems. But for now, the link should work. BRS, Blade Running System, have been known for making some of the best balasangs out there for a very long time. They've been there from the beginning and they are continuing to make amazing knives. They are also the father of the BRS Alpha Beast, which is iconic. I put a vinyl on here, vinyl that you also use for like cars or letters for storefronts where it says opening hours or if you have a logo on a shop this is the same kind of all you use for that i love modifying my knives oh yeah i also grind it down a little bit here so you can actually feel it the sound on this thing is surprisingly good this is the next one here's a little thing about me i am a supporter of clones when it comes to certain people if you're a person who doesn't have a lot of money on your hand or don't want to spend a lot but still want to experience what it's like to actually have one instead of going out and buying the real thing this one the original from jk designs this thing would have cost you over a thousand bucks but if you buy it on aliexpress you can buy this for 80 something there's uh, gonna be a picture for all of these i might get the prices wrong but i don't give a shit it's actual titanium, the handles are real titanium, it's been anodized, it's all legit. The hardware is just not there and it's not got the same tolerances and it's not the, the same quality that you get with the real thing, of course. But for what you get on this thing, it is a steal. 
This thing you could drop. Look at this. That was in the end. It literally just scratched some of the paint off. It didn't really do nothing. Titanium is strong, and if you want a knife that you can drop without caring about it, this is good. In the beginning when I got this, it felt kind of heavy. But after flipping more and getting stronger fingers, it's not a problem anymore. I can do all my tricks with this as well. People who think their knives are heavy if they buy a new knife, don't worry, don't sell it, don't get rid of it. Just keep practicing. You need that finger strength and you'll get it if you keep going. I've seen people with small hands flip knives that are heavier than this. So if you're scared about it being too heavy for you, just keep flipping. Just keep doing everything that you've always been doing. I learned in the beginning with this one, I just had to flip a little bit slower. And after a while, it didn't really matter. And here's the last one. All the ones from the one are 100% original that I've had in this video, besides one, which is this one. All the other ones are their own design. This is the one Alien. This one is the Falcon, the Alien. And the Alien, which is 45 bucks, is actually a dollar cheaper than the Falcon. And I mean, the Falcon is the best one I have besides my uh, more expensive one, like the Cracker Reckon is over 300 bucks. And um, the Nautilus is like 350. And this one is only 46 and it's still one of my actual best ones. But this one is uh, also the one, also it's good quality. Although the only gripe I have with this one is these screws here are T6s, Torx 6, and the one above is T8s, and they tend to strip real quick. If you're looking for uh, getting a more expensive Balasong, it has to come with T10. If it doesn't, something's going on, there's something ain't right, because real flippers know that T10 is what to get. But for what it is, for the hardware that you get with it, and after just loctiting it, it lasts for as long as you want it to. All of my knives are very old. I have around 11 or something. But if you're looking for a knife and you want high quality, these are the ones you should go for. The two from The One. They're super cheap. You can buy multiple of these, have different color, change out the handles if you want to do that. But if you just want a nice flipping experience and you don't have the money to buy super expensive knives these are the ones to go for all in all if you want to buy a knife i would recommend this you will have to actually make an indication of where you want your bite side to be because it's basically the same the only difference with this blade is that this point is lower than this point because that's higher so you will have to grind in an indication system to know when you actually hit yourself if you want to train if you don't want to do that then this is the other option it's also amazing it's got great weight everything is easy to do it and you will be able to do anything with this even i mean there's nothing you can't do with this one and if you want to splurge a little bit more for quality that's gonna last you then you will go for this you could drop this anywhere it's titanium and if you want it for the sound, then you go for the BRS clone, which is always sandwich. There's a ton of screws here, so you'll have to worry about that. So yeah, that's what I had to say. Goodbye. Bowl.